strong. Our health and our mental ability. That's We're under you attack. See depression everywhere. You see anxiety everywhere. You see suicidal thoughts everywhere. Prescription medications that they give you contain toxic elements in themselves that dumb you down and make you not want to open your eyes. Fluoride's the main ingredient in most of them. Fluoride, heavy metals, magnesium stearate, I mean, fatty acids, silicon dioxide, titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide, which makes things white, the pills white, they're now linking that to the major cause of fibromyalgia. Say, they haven't fit, you know, think of how many people have myalgia, fibromyalgia out there. And it's just, it can be just one chemical that's allowed in foods. So you really have to look at every single thing that you put in your body and the air that you breathe and everything that you're exposed to and realize that if you want to be healthy and you want to survive, whether it's a biological attack or whether it's just living longer or just being a human, we don't even have humans anymore because all these chemicals alter the way you think, the way you feel, the way you sleep. Well, they came out with studies a few years ago admitting that these GMO crops go through the barrier into the cell and are changing its DNA. They are exactly. mutating us. It's like they're mutating us into controllable robots, and that's not even counting the psychological uh, games. Why would with. Monsanto, with dioxin and Agent Orange and everything they do is evil, we just have to come to grips that this is their mission, and these other companies and Bill Gates are premeditatedly evil. They know, they knew 20 years ago BT Corn, and, and remember Starlink? got out and they had to recall it because it was so bad, it would just kill you right there. No, they don't want that. They want you to go off and you know die over 20 years and then Bill Gates has all the patented treatments for you. Now, that's a diabolical guy right there. That's also why they did the seed bank over there too, to, to preserve all the seeds because they also know that there's cross-contamination with genetically modified organisms. And it's not only is it harming us, but it's harming the earth at the same time. You're, the earth is dying, the earth is sick, the water is contaminated. And then they're the, the ones saying, give all your liberties up, we'll save the earth by cutting carbon dioxide that they admit is at the lowest level in planetary history. I mean, this is like they're trying to kill the planet. Right. And you, when you look at all the chemicals, especially the nanoparticles of aluminum that they're spraying everywhere with the chemtrails, all of that is creating a damaged and sick soil everywhere as well because, you know, th there's a slew of chemicals. Maybe they are space aliens and David Icke's right. I mean, I don't really mean that, but it's so, they just hate humans so much. They're so evil and so scientific. I guess it's the Bible. It's like an evil fourth dimensional creature is manipulating them or something. I mean, what, group, this is just, it's just so heavy. It's so scientific, so premeditated. And it's all admitted, too. It's just over the top. Yeah, everything is out there in the mainstream. If you just, well, I shouldn't say mainstream, but the alternative media. Well, it's in the government documents. It's in the studies. Right, but most people don't, re don't read those regularly. I mean, everybody watches CNN. And, you know, CNN is a government-controlled news organization, and they're part of the whole Yeah, I mean, it's Sandy Hook. They've got the same warfare. kids going in rings in and out of the building. Yeah. <laughs> no helicopters called. Uh, they turn, and it's a blue screen. Uh, with, with it's it's insane, right? Right, and the and when you calcify somebody's pineal gland with fluoride, and they believe in the government, you know this this whole Ebola thing, they're just psychologically convincing everybody that they're going to need to go run and and when the vaccine becomes available in 2015, they've created all the fear. They've shown the pictures of the dead people. They've so this is just the pre-hype, and they'll have another outbreak next year that's worse, and then that's what this is really for. <sighs> You know, usually if you look at the pattern of things, if this was really super, super bad, and I'm saying this now, I wouldn't have said this probably a month ago because you would have expected exponential spread already if this was something serious. But this year, I had three family members die, and, and the doctors all said it was an incredible mystery illness, but the media kept it quiet. They, they, they could be disappearing, all the people, which is what we're getting from the doctors. Yeah, you, you never know. It, there's always a diversion, usually, in most cases. So what's really going on? I mean, and I've heard a lot about this mystery illness too. And we've had people calling our office saying, you know, I don't know what's going on with this Ebola, but these other people are dying. We've talked to doctors. Kids are on respirators everywhere. Talked to All the hospitals are full. We've talked to doctors that they're saying patients are disappearing. You know, we've talked to border patrol agents. You met with people, senior ones. You know? Yes, that, 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 you know, people are disappearing from the border. So who knows what's really going on, but the thing that you need to look at it is don't believe everything that you're hearing on, on the mainstream TV channels and really start looking into what are some of the other things that can be happening. And most of all, 
prepare your family and your body because if your body and your immune system is healthy and you have a strong self-healing mechanism, which is what I've been talking about for years, everybody has a self-healing mechanism. It's right here. It's the strongest medicine you'll ever have. But your self-healing mechanism, if it's not working 100% because you're eating genetically modified foods, because you're on antibiotics, because you're on other prescription medications, all of the other toxic chemicals that you're exposed to, that is when you're going to be susceptible to any of these mystery illnesses or Ebola or any other bio-warfare weapons that might come out there. And the most important thing, again, they know the gut is important for making you sick. We know the gut is important for making you well. Focus on the gut. Seven That's why the UN system. said at the 96 Food Conference, food is a weapon. And they are eugenicists. We're going to come back and get into uh, more of what's in the Halloween candy and how to avoid that. And is there any healthy stuff out there? You can't even find bubble gum or regular gum that doesn't have aspartame, even the sugared. Uh, this is just over the top important. Stay with us. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This winter, next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel can be safely stored with your other supplies for many years and works in any gas-powered vehicle or backup generator. With the bitterly cold temperatures predicted for this winter, now is the best time to stock up on spare fuel. So go to GetSpareFuel.com. That's GetSpareFuel.com. GetSpareFuel.com. Do you lay awake at night and worry about the health and safety of you and your loved ones? Do you wonder what would happen if you weren't able to get to a hospital or doctor? How can you keep your family safe against the deadly pathogens that are beginning to emerge in the world today? Give yourself peace of mind with Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver is turning heads around the world as a new weapon in the fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver can be taken internally or used topically to help the body's own immune system fight off disease much more effectively. Supernatural Silver has been tested at independent universities and laboratories around the world and has been proven to be safe and highly effective against some of the planet's deadliest pathogens. There is no better product to have in your home for daily use or emergency preparedness. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com, use the code SILVER2014 for 20% off, and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. All loans subject to OnDeck's score approval must be in business at least one year to apply. Are you a small business owner who needs working capital? At OnDeck, we can help. We focus on your business operations and cash flow, not just your personal credit score. And we're ready to help with loans of up to $250,000. True business loans, not a credit card advance. OnDeck provides financing to hundreds of different types of businesses like restaurants, auto body shops, healthcare, and service providers. So if you've been frustrated by the paperwork and long decision times of traditional lenders, see why so many small business owners are turning to OnDeck for the funding they need. Call now and speak with an OnDeck funding specialist. Our simple application process takes just minutes and funding could be available in just one business day. OnDeck has an a Better Business Bureau rating. We provided over a billion dollars to businesses. So if you're a small business owner who needs Needs financing for your business, visit us at ondeck.com or call us at 800 325 6384. That's 800 325 6384. 800 325 6384. Dr. Edward Groups, our guest. I'm Alex Jones. George Norrie's coming up in the next hour. We'll talk election 2014. Ebola. ISIS, and so much more with Coast to Coast AM.com's lead host, George Norrie. You were getting into a lot during the break. You wanted to talk about uh, Dr. Alabek from Russia, some of his findings. Also, what iodine has been found to do in studies. Uh, break some of that down for folks, Dr. Group. 
Well, uh, you know, I've had a lot of people out there asking me about colloidal silver as far as different types of viruses, but a lot of people have been asking me also, what can we use iodine? Or is there any scientific ev evidence that iodine is good as an antimicrobial? Um, what I was able to pull up, I do have a lot of research on iodine, been doing research on iodine for years. I've made a list of some of the things that are really relevant, I think, to any type of airborne viruses. One of them was from 1945. There was a breakthrough that occurred when J.D. Stone and Sir McFarlane Burnett, and Burnett later went on to win the Nobel Prize for clonal selection theory. But basically that study was uh, in 1945, what they did was they sprayed iod an iodine mist on the snouts of mice and then expose them to airborne virus, influenza, and none of the mice were uh, ever came down with it. So one of many studies out there that I'll go over that are documented evidence that iodine does in fact help with control or actually prevention of certain viruses out there. One of the reasons I put iodine in the lung cleanse was for that same purpose. Now, I'm not saying you know, that that will work 100% of the time or anything. What I wanted to do was just share some of these scientific studies with people because if you were to use the lung cleanse properly, spray it in. That's why I have everybody breathe because it coats the mucous membranes all the way down into the lungs. Let's just say I would feel much more comfortable going into any type of area that might be contaminated, whether it's flu season, anything. If I have a bottle of that with me and I can just spray it in my mouth and inhale it, or for that matter, if I'm in a public place, you know, for schools, I give it to my kids when they go to school around flu season. But Dr. Group, it's also what being on iodine, real iodine, because I tried other iodine had some effect, but th this real nascent iodine from the crystal source especially has just supercharged my skin, my hair, my weight loss, stamina, energy. Is that because the FDA has such a low allowance of what they say you need under Codex Alimentarius uh, and that a larger dose, and of course, consult your physician first, it's just done wonders for me. Right, yeah, the the dose, the RDA is a joke. I mean, that's basically doesn't even give you enough to barely survive the recommended daily allowance. And one of the reasons the RDA is so low for iodine is just because they don't want you to understand and know the effects of iodine. Iodine is used for every single cell in the body. It's one of the things that you I... You will die without it. You will die without it for sure. I mean, you will definitely get massive thyroid issues. Uh, you can survive on tiny, tiny amounts of iodine, but that's the thing. You just survive. The way that it's the globalists and, and everything is set up right now with the poisons everywhere is that you barely survive and you have to lean on government, lean on government health care. They, they can decide how to run your life, what prescription medications you need to be on. And all medications do is they cover up the main problems in the body anyway. It's not ever designed to fix anything but to keep you ill and Breast sick. Breast cancer's up several thousand percentage points in the U.S. and England. Other parts of the world, it's not. Uh, Brazil started adopting our practices. Suddenly, there are things going up. Every country that takes in GMO, you name it, or starts planting glyphosates using Roundup, no one ever says, why don't we find why it's increasing? It's always find a cure. Well, no, find out why it's becoming an epidemic. It's like find right. a cure for diabetes. No, find out why everybody's getting it. That's like the whole breast cancer scam with the whole pink ribbons and everything where they promote all this, promote all this, promote it. But if you track the money back, it goes straight back into the pharmaceutical companies to produce chemicals. The Merck Manual says chemotherapy is a derivative of mustard gas. Oh, my gosh. We're going to come right back. Stay with us. Survival Shield X2. We believe the best quality iodine out there. This is GCN, Unbelievable. InfoWarsLife.com. Communications Radio Network. General, what do you think about the FBI? saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the assault 
Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level.